Welcome back to that dad guy. I am in a location that is famous for us, but maybe not so famous for you. It is the rocks. Or as we call them in New Brunswick, the flower pots. I'm here with some of my family and we are touring a little bit. Now, it is a little bit dreary of a day. You can see we got some raindrops. We've got some clouds, but we are still on the ocean floor. Uh, low tide is now. I'm actually at the end of the, the pathway. You can see there, that's the uh, emergency. If you get caught, you have to go up there uh, if when the tide comes in, because it comes in very quickly. And every year we have tourists that get trapped. And that's one of the places they gotta go if they're trapped until uh, they can be rescued. Because the tides, uh, they come in quick. But right now, as you can see, we are on the ocean floor and the tide is going out. Let's wander.
In case you're wondering what these mountains of things are, this is all seaweed on the ocean floor. So you can dry that out and uh, we sell it as dulse here, which is a really salty uh, treat for some people. And for some people, it's just gross seaweed. But there you have it, walking along what you might see here. So each one of these flower pots, if we want to call them that, or the rocks, are carved out with the tide as it comes in and so over time they collapse because the base erodes and new flower pots you can see them in there uh, get created One of the things you can do at high tide during the season is rent kayaks. So there's a kayak place here and life jackets, a little bit of an adventure place. And you've got places for the buses to come for the tours. Right. And then you have the option of either taking a golf cart, which costs you, I think, about $10 down, or you can walk the 15 minutes and do the trails. That's what we've elected to do.
Hey, I'm Lauren. I'm Lyndon. I'm Vanessa. And who are you in relation to me? I was going to say cousin. You are, you are, you are <laughs> uncle. Nope. You are our uncle. Okay. And you guys have been here for how long? A week and a bit. And you're visiting from where? Sorry. BC. Lumbee, BC. <laughs> there you go. You can see the Vancouver Helpful Canucks looking. are well represented here. Yes. And while you're here with your grandparents and your uncle and your aunt and your cousin, what did we go do today? We went to see Hopewell Rocks. And what did you think of the Hopewell Rocks? They were pretty cool. It was pretty mucky, a little yeah. overcast, but it was all right. It turned out to be a nice day. You have a favorite thing about the uh, experience of going to the Hopewell Rocks? Mm. Watching all the other people get muddy. Yeah, get stuck <laughs> in the mud. So we got there just as the tide was going out, so the beach wasn't as long as it should have been, so we had to kind of maneuver through the rocks and the mud, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the seaweed. Okay. Would you do it again? Yes, I would do it that again. Cool. Would you recommend would... other people to come and visit New Brunswick and see that? 10 out of 10, I recommend. would do it, and your pass, if you do go, is valid for two days. So if you want to, which I think I would do it again, see it at high, come back the following day see it at low so you really see the the difference yeah and if you go in the summertime you can actually rent kayaks and I would kayak that. around during high yeah, tide I'd too that. yeah that would be fun the and one thing we fun. didn't do this time which when we went down to fundy national park is cape and rage so if you are an adventurous person you can go there and do zip lining oh. and rock climbing and uh, go see the lighthouse and all the other things that are down there too or golf or golf you can do that in fundy national park yeah in the, the Nash Canada parks oh, chairs. Yeah. Yeah, so the national parks across the country have these red Adirondack chairs that are emblazoned with the uh, beaver, which is the uh, national symbol for Parks Canada. All right. Well, thanks right. for visiting. Go home now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 like the sea. Touch like the sea. Salty like the sea. <laughs> This was just a sneak peek of what actually took place while my uh, niece and nephews were here in town this trip. Uh, we got to do some fun things and uh, there's still a little bit of time before everybody goes back again. So we're going to continue to do some fun things, but I wanted to take you along and give you a little glimpse of uh, what we did, but a bigger glimpse of Hopewell Cape. And uh, if you want to come down and visit it yourself, make sure you do and, and do come for the, at least the two days to see it. You want to see it at high tide and low tide or plan your one day around being there twice. All right. Well, that's it for right now. You guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Look at the boy. Who's a good boy? <laughs>